Hello guys, this is me from Chalk Industor and today we will be discussing about the topic polymers. These are the following contents which are going to be covered in the coming slides. The part 2 of this video will be coming shortly and these topics will be discussed in that video. Coming to the introduction, what is polymer? Polymers are the molecules having large mo molecular masses basically we can say the macromolecule macromolecules these polymers are formed from monomer units through various processes through various processes and this process of forming of polymers is called polymerization okay now how do we define the molecular mass of polymers since po polymer themselves are a mixture of molecules having different molecular masses so how do we define the molecular mass in order to do this we define various formulas such as the number average molecular mass for the number average molecular mass we take the mass total mass uh, divided by the total number of molecules so basically we are gonna do the mathematical summation of product of ni mi divide by summation of ni where ni is summation is the sum, uh, total number of molecules and ni mi will uh, denote the product of number of molecules having particular mass Ex uh, experimentally uh, we calculate the number average molecular mass by the help of colligative properties colligative pro properties such as elevation in boiling point lowering in vap uh, freezing point uh, osmotic pressure etc for uh, good physical properties impact and tensile strength this number average molecule is a good index okay but it isn't a good index of other properties such as flow high uh, number molecular mass okay in the weight average molecular mass we have summation of weight into mass divided by summation of weight where w i c i and c denote the weight fraction of, uh, of molecules concentrations and total weight as written experimentally weight average molecular mass is determined with the help of light scattering and ultra centrifugation processes coming to the polydispersity index polydispersity index is the ratio of weight average molecular mass divided by the number average molecular mass generally pdi is greater than 1 if pdi is equal to 1 so the weight average molecular mass is equal to number average molecular mass and in this in this case the system is said to be mono dispersed the variation increases with increasing pdi and uh, if the variation is less this represents that the polymer is a good quality polymer and can be good for industrial use viscosity average molecular mass viscosity average molecular mass is basically the product of summation summation of product of w i m i power alpha divided by the summation of total weight experimentally this is determined by the viscosity measurement the intrinsic viscosity is equal to some constant k multiplied by the viscosity average molecular mass raised to power alpha where uh, the intrinsic viscosity is determined by the mark howing sakurada equation now what is oswald viscometer oswald viscometer is basically an instrument used to calculate the viscosity this uh, in this we have two marks the upper mark and the lower mark in which we fill the uh, liquid and uh, the liquid is flown and the total time taken to pass the liquid from the upper mark to the lower mark to empty that whole container the cylindrical container the total time taken will ca will be used to calculate the viscosity okay these are the following formulas or basically the terms which can be asked in exams uh, the relative viscosity the specific viscosity etc okay so go through this once the sediment average molecular mass the sediment average molecular mass is basically the sum, uh, mathematical summation of ni mi whole cube sorry ni mi cube divided by ni mi square summations 
okay this is determined by the ultra centrifugation process uh, so we have now defined total four average molecular masses the mz mw mv and mn and th this is the following relation which you can easily relate uh, looking at the formulas now how do we classify polymers polymers are classified based on the source based on the structure based on mode of polymerization based on molecular forces based on growth polymerization coming to the classification based on source based on sources they are divided mainly into three the natural polymers synthetic polymers and synth semi synthetic polymers these are the examples and uh, the where they are found they are found in animals the natural polymers and similarly you can read about the synthetic and the semi synthetic polymers now on the based of structure we define them into three the linear branched and the cross linked okay linear basically is a long chain consisting of same monomers uh, branch chain polymer contains linearly chain having some branches and similarly for the cross linked this is the bi uh, conti containing the bifunctional or poly polyfunctional okay polyfunctional monomers uh, classification based on mode of polymerization addition polymerization and condensation polymerization in addition in addition polymerization they are formed by repeated addition of monomers and in this way polymers are formed okay they may have some functional groups they may have double bond triple bond uh, i'm sorry in addition polymers uh, we take the monomers having only the multiple bonds okay in the condensation polymer the reaction between two bifunctional or trifunctional polyfunctional groups can take place uh, okay and the condensation process would take the h2o would be released and such condens the polymer would be continuously formed in this way homopolymer and copolymer homopolymer is basically the polymers which are formed from single monomeric species or single monomeric units copolymer is a mixture of two or more than two polymers okay these are the examples for copolymers bunoas san abs etc classification based on molecular forces based on molecular forces we define the polymers into elastomers fibers elastomers basically have the property rubber like material having the elastic properties so they basically have the cross links introduced which make them elastic in nature the fibers these are thread forming solids okay which can be which have high strong forces which uh, creates a close packing between the uh, chains okay in this way we get the fibers the thermosetting polymer and the thermoplastic polymers thermosetting polymers are the cross link polymers having heavily branched molecules okay the thermoplastic polymers they are slightly branched and are loose okay these polymers possesses intermolecular forces of attraction intermediate between elastomers and fibers so the classification based on growth polymerization would be discussed later in the part 2 for more videos please do watch our content we will be coming shortly with more interesting topics please do like subscribe and share our video and please do support us please feel free to criticize our work constructively we promise to improve study well